Good morning from Terminal 1 of Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. Today I'm going to be flying on Air Asia India to Goa. My flight to Goa departs at 3.55 am in the morning, an unusually early hour to head to Goa. But I haven't flown on Air Asia India before and I'm keen to see how the Indian edition of Air Asia is compared to its Malaysian parent. As most of you would know by now, the Tata Group will be merging Air Asia India with Air India Express soon, and this would probably be my last opportunity to fly on this airline under the Air Asia brand. There are quite a few shops and cafes inside the departures area post security check, but most of them are closed at this early hour. The terminal itself is quite empty right now but will fill up quickly in the next few hours. There is this nice looking ultra bar inside the terminal, but it's too early for beers and I need coffee instead to keep me awake. Terminal F is the name of the food court inside Terminal 1 and I decided to head upstairs to see what do they have on offer. At this early hour, most of the street food places and restaurants were shut and the only place that was open was this Cafecino Cafe outlet. So I decided to get a cup of hot coffee. Boarding began soon after and thankfully it was an aerobridge gate. The livery on the aircraft and the interiors are exactly the same as seen on AirAsia aircraft in Malaysia and elsewhere. The legroom on board this A320 is extremely tight at 29 inches and can be quite uncomfortable especially on long flights. In case you want more legroom, you need to pay and opt for their hot seats which have extra legroom. Thankfully the armrest can be lifted up to give you extra space in case the seat next to you is empty. Let's take a look at the literature in the seat pocket. You have the usual air sickness pack, in-flight Wi-Fi related information, safety information card and the Gourmet menu. You can pre-book hot meals and snacks on the AirAsia India website for 500 Indian rupees. But considering the length of this flight, I did not opt for this. Let's see if AirAsia India offers onboard snacks and drinks for sale. The safety information card was pretty standard and carried instructions in two languages, English and Hindi.
condition. The light comes on when in contact with water and hears a whistle to attract attention. Evacuation slides are located at all exits. There are eight emerging... Since it was only 4 a.m. in the morning, Mumbai airport was not at all busy and we had a short taxi run from Terminal 1 to Runway 09. It was a quick takeoff from runway 09 this time and the crew have kept the cabin lights dimmed. We will have a flying time of roughly 45 minutes to Goa and there is nothing else to see as it's completely dark outside. After a few minutes the crew handed out these bottles of water which I think is a great touch. There was no in-flight sale of snacks or drinks on this flight at all. The lab on this aircraft was pretty standard and was kept mostly clean except this stain on the diaper changing station. As you can see, this early morning flight out of Mumbai was just about half full. Within a few minutes, the captain announced the commencement of our descent into Tabulim Airport, Goa. This was a relatively short 40 odd minute flight from Mumbai, but I finally got a chance to fly on this soon to disappear airline, AirAsia India. The hard product and onboard service is pretty similar to its Malaysian counterpart, although I did not see the pre-booked meal service, maybe because of the early hour. It will be interesting to see how this airline fares after its merger with Air India Express. Thank you for flying with Harish. 
Welcome to Dabolim Airport, Goa, where the touristy vibe hits you as soon as you step off that plane. The terminal at Goa's International Airport has undergone a series of refurbishments and is now rather nice as compared to what it was a few years ago. We had to wait for nearly 20 minutes before the first pack started arriving on the belt which is kinda slow considering we were the only flight arriving at that time. Bags collected, I made my way towards the exit only to come across this fancy restroom built and maintained by Kohler. Welcome to a chilly winter morning in Goa. Hope you enjoyed this trip report on AirAsia's A320 service from Mumbai to Goa. I'll see you again on my next flight.